Hi friends, welcome back to Perfect Score for Math. In the middle discuss here in the K3 Mathematics Pedagogy le, Evaluation and Types of Evaluation and the topic ya na. First point, Continuous and Comprehensive Evaluation. Students evaluation should be Continuous and Comprehensive. In Continuous and Comprehensive Evaluation le, na mula oro task inam grades assign chain no. It caters to academic and non-academic subject. That is the continuous and comprehensive evaluation. We academic and non-academic subjects consider. It evaluates every aspect of the student and it helps in discovering the needs of an individual and CCE reduces examination phobia of students. Continuous and comprehensive evaluation helps in skill development and it provides a chance to detect and correct mistakes and it is a learner-centered process. Evaluation is the types of evaluation. Four different types of evaluation are First one, formative evaluation. Second one, summative evaluation. Third one, norm-referenced evaluation. And last one, criterion-referenced evaluation. The first one, formative evaluation. A teacher asks questions occasionally while he or she is teaching. That is the class of students in the understanding in a check and at questions. That is the formative evaluation example. It is done for immediate feedback and on daily basis. Purposiveness of an evaluation tool is validity. Second type of evaluation, summative evaluation. Making an overall assessment of decision with the instructional program is summative evaluation. That is the overall assessment in the summative evaluation. Summative evaluation is usually done through a written test. Then an examples are annual exam, half yearly exam, promotion exam, unit test. And this summative evaluation is a specific period of time. Next one, non-referenced evaluation. Students achievement in comparison with other students in the group. That is, in our students group, we have the students in the achievement which we have the students in the achievement which compare the non-referenced evaluation. It produces an order of student ranking related to the group. That is, the group in a base that students in a rank go to another type of evaluation. It discriminates high and low achievers. Next one, criterion referenced evaluation. Students in comparison with an absolute standard or criteria and the assessment criteria are fixed. But students in the achievement in a compare another or a fixed dietola assessment criteria itana. Adondana then a number criterion referenced evaluation in the para another. If it's a criteria in the para another fixed dietola or a criteria ericum, it assess the amount of material known by each student. Next, your topic in a base is the previous year's questions. First one, making an overall assessment of decision with the instructional program is dash. Diagnostic evaluation, formative evaluation, summative evaluation or placement evaluation. We will say the overall assessment is the summative evaluation. So, our answer is summative evaluation. Second one, which is more comprehensive? Testing, Evaluation, Measurements, Amendments. Our answer is Evaluation. Next one, Students' Evaluation should be dash, Continuous, Continuous and Comprehensive, Comprehensive at the end of the course. Students' Evaluation in the Parayinad, Continuous and Comprehensive idea. Purposiveness of an Evaluation Tool is dash, Objectivity, Reliability, Objective Basedness and Validity. Purposiveness of an evaluation tool is validity. Next one, which of the following is not a characteristic of evaluation? It caters to academic and non-academic subjects. It helps in discovering the needs of an individual. It is a continuous process. It reveals how much an individual performs. So, number answer is it reveals how much an individual performs. The process of quantifying performance is dash. Testing, Evaluation, Measurement, Amendment. Process of Quantifying Performance in the way another measurement. Summative assessment is usually done through DASH. Written DASH, lab activity, assignments or project work. 
summative assessment usually done through written test. Next one, which of the following is not a function of evaluation? Practical, diagnosis, remedial, prediction. Our answer is practical. Evaluation is a dash centered process. Objective, teacher, learner, none of these. We evaluation and the or a learner centered process. Next one, which of the following is the best suited objective of written work in mathematics? To do mental calculations, to do difficult problems, to write steps in logical and sequential order, to develop speed in calculation. Our answer to write steps in logical and sequential order. Which of the following is not a characteristic of evaluation? Increases workload of students by taking multiple tests, assigning grades for tasks, evaluating every aspect of student, reduce examination phobia of students. The answer where another increases workload of students by taking multiple tests. Last next question. A teacher asks questions occasionally while he or she is teaching. It is done as the part of DASH. Norm reference evaluation, format evaluation, summative evaluation or criterion reference evaluation. I am going to ask teaching in the questions to show you the formative evaluation part of the evaluation. Friends, in the discuss the K3 Mathematics Pedagogy, evaluation and types of evaluation and the topic. So, four different types of evaluation and then we discuss the discuss Please subscribe my channel, watch and share. Thank you.